Well, all six of us somehow managed to get our boats sorted and rafted up properly. Truth be told, a boat came in a bit too close and fast, so we were glad all the rigging was misaligned so they didn't crash together in the wake. We are still waiting for one more sailboat to join us, but decided to head into shore and check out the lighthouse. This is Mark and I'm Lori and we love sailing the Bay of Green Bay. Every year we look for new places to visit and explore. This year we decided we wanted to go to Fayette, Michigan and stay at the state park for a few days. We planned a 200 mile, 10 day sailing trip that'll take us around the entire bay. We try to put out new videos every couple weeks so hit the subscribe oh. button so you don't miss an episode. Wait till we slow that down. We'll see. Oh my gosh. Let's kiss. Hey, this is G rated. Yeah, something like that. One more kiss. Okay, you're like, I'm getting seasick. I'm getting sick. I'm going to throw up. Chambers Island got its name after Colonel Talbot Chambers. He led the military expedition from Mackinac to establish the Fort Howard military post, which we know today as Green Bay. However, it wasn't settled into the 50s and 60s when loggers and their families arrived for the island's pine, oak, and hemlock resources. The island was the third incorporated township in the county and had a school store and a post office for a short time. At the height of this boom, they failed to re-elect the officers and they were forced to merge with the town of Gibraltar. It's estimated that as many as 250 people were living on the island, but because of the merger, the 1870 census has no record of who or how many people were actually living on the island. The red oak is still cut and regrown every 15 years and is still of the highest quality in the industry. Today, there are no stores, no phone lines, no electrical lines, but has become a popular summertime destination for picnickers and boaters. Don't throw it. Okay, throw it. Yeah, we got her. Nothing beats up you, huh? All of a sudden we'll be back to all of a sudden we'll be back to seven boats. I woke up this morning and Mark's untying us. I decided to get going since we've got such a long sail in front of us. Oh, I'm so tired. Boy, this is nice. Wing on wing, nice, gentle, lazy sail. We have no really no time to get there, so we can mosey along here at four knots. Got maybe another five, maybe six miles to go to get to O'Connell. Got our slips reserved, so we just got to go there, tie up, and imagine we'll have a group going out for dinner there when we get there. So, just beautiful though. This is a great day. Great. Great light breeze, keeping the boat moving. Nothing kind of wonky about anything right now. So. I'm loving it.
So everybody got in safely and uh, tied up here in Okano. It's um, a lot different than we remember it. There is docks now um, on the, the wall. <clears throat> they must have added them this year and um, everybody's just as nice as they were before. We're going to be heading to the dockside back there for supper and right now we're going to head over for cocktails and hors d'oeuvres onto our buddy boat. Well said. I agree with 100% <laughs> of what she said. So, let the festivities begin. Let the festivities begin. Yay! Cheers. Good morning. It's day 10. Day 10 means we're going home. It was a long time on the boat. Um, I could have gone longer, but it's definitely time to head her back. Um, got about a four and a half, five hour. Um, sail or motor today. And it looks like we have some coffee clutching going on up at the uh, little gazebo up there where I'm gonna go pay the dues. We turned downwind, got wing on wing, doing about five knots. Working pretty good.